This program is brought to you by A Tri Media Pro Incorporated. The doctor is on air. Dito sa klinika on air. Usapang pangkalusugan, mga wastong paraan upang sakit ay malunasa. Ihahatid ang tamang gabay sa pangangalaga ng ating katawan. Klinika on air. Samahan si Dr. Charlie Mendez. Tuwing Miyerkules, Huwebes at Biyernes, alas 6 hanggang alas 7 ng gabi. Klinika on air dito sa DZRJ 810. Hatid sa inyo ng 8 Trimedia Broadcasting Network. Huwag sa inyo ng 8 Trimedia Broadcasting Network, ang hukila ng bawat Pilipino. Palagi ka bang stress? Nakaw! Tatanda ka niyan! Tara na! Alamin ang mga napapanahon at tunay na solusyon sa wastong kalusugan. Narito si na Dr. Cecil Katapan at Ryan George. Dito lang sa Klinika On Air. Hey everyone! Medyo na late pa ng konti, na ah, George? Ano? Yes, good evening. Oh, ano? um, nagbigay daan tayo kanina sa... Uh, ano ata, naka-live uh, patch tayo sa... Hindi, yeah, napagalan lang si Martin ang huda. <laughs> <laughs> May nag-live hook tayo, hook live tayo kayo. Ikaw, babatingin ko muna si Mark kasi nag-grab tax nga pumunta rito eh. Yeah. Ah, so yun ito kasi nakit. Sabi ko, oh Mark, huwag mong palilipat yan nga. Ikaw mo sabi na, 6 to 7 and 6.30 na. Oh, nakikinig. Mark, nag-grab taxi. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ngayon ay ika-18 ng... August. Oh, ayun na ngayon, bukas. Malapit na magpas. <laughs> September. Ay, holiday bukas. Oh, holiday sa Quezon City lamang. Oh, sa Quezon yes. City kasi. Dahil Quezon City. Quezon City. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening mga kaklinika. Um, ito ang Clinica on Air. Okay. Ngayon, George, trivia. Mm. Diba tag-ulan? Mm -hmm. So, pag tag-ulan ba, bakit sakitin? sakiting. Dahil, Sabi nila bakit pag tag-ulan ako pag nabasa ako ng ulan sa uh, bakit pag tag-ulan sa maraming nagkakasakit. Baka mahina ang iyong resistansya. Hindi ba dami yan? Sa, oh, actually sabi nila hindi naman dahil sa ulan niyan. Uh, pag tag-ulan kasi mas madalas ang mas ma, mas madalas we stay indoors. Mm -hmm, madalas mm -hmm. nasa loob ka ng bahay. Tapos pag tag-ulan ang ano ang hangin mabigat. Mm -hmm, Trap. Mm -hmm. Ngayon ang mga virus nagta-travel yan sa, by air. So, kung nari ikaw may sakit ka, mm. nagbahing ka, mabagal ang takbo ng virus sa, sa air. Mm -hmm. And so, everybody in the room can catch it. Easy. It's easier for everybody yeah, in the room marami, to catch it. Marami, marami, marami nagkakasakit pag tag-ulan. Kasi nga, mabagal ang takbo, hindi dahil lang sa umuulan. Mabuti nga, medyo tumigil na yung ulan, di ba? For the past several days talaga naman, Ay, ang up, ulan sa Maynila at Baha. Ba'y pa yung dadas ang linggas natin? <laughs> <laughs> eh, anyway, dito, ay, gulo na ba tayo? Ika... Kapal lima. Ika lima na bang episode? Last one absent ko. So, ika-anim na natin. Oo. Oh, oh. Tignan mo na, kung ano ba yung ano, credentials nitong very credible ano guest natin? Nasa iyo ata. <laughs> ano mo madalas? Madalas kasi, alam mo, um, na, 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 ngayon yung tagulan na, luna, mm -hmm. diba? Madalas tayong mamaos. Mm. Oh, sa English, ang mamaos ay... Ano Horseness. Diba? Horseness. Hindi yung kabayo. <laughs> H-O-R-S. Mamaos hindi rin yung mamaos. Mapaso. So, horseness. So, horseness. Nakabila sa sasabi ba? Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Yung bang common term doon? Hindi. Hindi. Hindi, diba? Ayan. So, maganda. So, mabuti na lang expert yung kabisita natin ngayon dahil hindi palbak tayo na lo. Alam mo, I will have a very special guest tonight kasi number one, best friend ko siya. Roommate ko sa St. Luke's. Ano siya? Fellow of the Philippine Society of Ortho... Otto. Otto. Laningology. And head and neck surgery. Ano yung web PCS? Philippine College of Surgeons ka rin. Ako na, ako na. Ako kasi fellow ka rin. Nang ORF College of Surgeons. Kasi OFTA College of Surgeons din eh. Tapos, uh, wow, nawala yung aking ano, bukology siya. Alam mo, I, admire, ano, I, I insisted na mag-guess siya. Mm. Kasi very few has her, her specialty. Kukunti lang ang may alam ng specialty niya, sa Pilipinas at least. Okay. And so, so, St. Luke's, uh, St. Luke's isa sa pioneer niyan. Kasi mm. nag-graduate lang namin yan, talaga ang pinadala agad niya ng St. Luke's sa New York, sa Mount Sinai 
Grab Shade, Grab Shade, tama ba pronunciation? Grab Shade. Ko? Grab Shade Voice Center sa Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. Alam ko yun kasi at that time kasama pa kami dun eh. So, uh, she's also the chairman of the Philippine Academy of Laryngology and Phoniatrics. May phoniatrics na ngayon, di ba? Hindi na na. And of course, consultant of the Department of ENT and Head and Neck, uh, Head and Neck Surgery, St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City. No other. Hindi ka ba nagbabi BGC? Hindi BGC ka rin, di ba? Extension. Oo. Oh. Ah, sa extension, hindi ka nagbabi BGC. Ba't formal ka? Hindi ka nagbabi. Hindi ka nagbabi. Hindi ka nagbabi. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Mary Arlene Ardenia Bungosh. <laughs> Good evening, uh, Best Princess here and George. Yes. Alam mo, Arlene, konti lang yung hindi ko na applause. Ang dalawang yes. Ang bat lang po yung accident. Okay. Arlene, di ba, ang hoarseness, who usually cap, uh, gets hoarse? Ay, sabi mo kanina, iba yung sore throat, iba yung hoarseness. Mm -hmm. Ano yung difference niya? Ano yung difference niya? Okay. This, uh, dif define muna natin yung hoarseness. Mm -hmm. Hoarseness is a voice disorder characterized by uh, like breathiness, raspiness, garalgal na boses, or uh, weak voice, strained voice, so anything that may disorders of voice. For okay, example, iyan natin, ano yung natin, Breathy breathiness, ano yun? Anong kinihikita ka pos? Mahingal, kita ka pos, nanghingal. Hangin, mahangin. Mahangin. Ah, mahangin. Ay, hey, Joy! Betty. Betty. Ah, Betty. Betty. So, mahangin. Mara George! George! Mm -hmm. Ganyan. Mm -hmm. I mean, next is? Uh, raspy, garalgal. <coughs> like, uh, uh, ma example is, uh, para kung may cancer ka, yung boses mo, kung may uh, lesion yung vocal cords, garalgal yung vocal cords. Okay. Ah, may garalgal yung parang ganito. Ah, may Ganun ba yun? Yeah, may strain. Yeah, mm -hmm. may strain. Ano ba yung sa? Hindi ka talaga na ako mag-radio. Hindi, nasa radio na tayo. Pero talent ng, ano, ano? Voice talent. Arlene, ano pa? Sige pa. Ano pa ang mga descriptions? Alam mo pa, may kwento muna ako sa'yo. Sige nga, sige nga, Dok. Ganito, never ako nagkakahorseness sa buhay. Oh, okay. Eh, hindi naman, ano, pero hindi. Sabi naman niya, hindi manage siya. Hindi ako nag, karoon ng hoarseness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tapos, sinabi na ako ni Ceci, oy, lecture ko, ah, ano ka, guest ka sa, ano, sa, Clinical on air. Clinical on air. air. Sabi niya, kailangan uh, topic hoarseness. Sige, okay. Sabi ko, the day, yeah, the day before, ng guesting ko, <laughs> nag-hoarseness. <laughs> 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 Sabi ko pa, paano ako paniwalaan? <laughs> Experience is the best teacher. <laughs> Hindi, kasi pumunta akong mall. Okay. Tama, may virus. Ang daming virus sa mall. So, maraming tao doon, di ba? Ang ngayon? daming kasi... tao doon. So, wala wala akong risk factor na alam na mag-cause except mm -hmm. virus. Viral infection. So, so meron, uh, ano yun? Um, garalgal, ano pa nga yun? Uh, uh, breathy voice or... Uh, Weak voice, weak. Ay, ay, mabalik ko sa mga. Kailangan may effort pag magsalita ka. Or may strain. Hirap. Hirap. Ang matagod din yan dito sa muscles sa legs. Eh, sa legs. Yun yung hoarseness. Legs, eh. Hindi, legs. 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 Ang affected part are the tonsils mm -hmm. only so, or a pharyngeal area, hindi yung larynx or hindi yung voice box. Mm -hmm. So, yun ang difference ng sore throat tsaka hoarseness. Ang sore throat, ang okay. hoarseness, may, may problema sa vocal cords or sa vocal folds. Yung sore, sore throat, throat, mas mataas. Like, uh, may... may Uh, swelling sa tonsils or sa pharynx. Ay, I mean, ano ba yung structures na yun na, ano, uh, that constitute the throat? The throat? Uh -oh. Okay. Um, uh, magsa-start tayo sa, uh, dito sa to area ng tonsils, pharynx, mm -hmm. yung, yung uvula, tonsillar pilar, bababa tayo, may epiglutis, and then bababa ka pa, yun ang voice box or the larynx, which contains the vocal folds or the vocal cords. Ah, so, mm -hmm. part pa ng vocal? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, Tapos sa... Uh, uh, ng throat, Yeah, sorry. and then, it's between the trachea and the 
Ah, epiglottis. Ah, pero, pag sinabi sore throat, upper lang. Ang upper, ingot. sore throat. Pag may, may sore throat ako, masakit, maglunok, ganyan. But, uh, pwede hindi affected it, yung voice. Pwede hindi affected mm. yung voice. Mm. Pero pang, pag hoarseness, pero pwede, 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 pwede magkaroon ka ng hoarseness at the same time, masakit din maglunok, like salaryngitis or pwede mm. rin yun. Mm. Aside, aside from, kagaya kung walang kigil yung daldal, tsaka kung makatawa, parang may volume may up or the way up, mm-hmm. sino sino yung prone magkaroon ng hoarseness? Ang tawag sa'yo, <laughs> yes, <laughs> vocal overdue. Overdu- <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, hindi ko na, hindi kasi bigay siya. Uh, yeah, kasi merong voice abuser or ab- may uh, persons who are guilty of voice abuse. Mm-hmm. Um, yung vocal abuse is uh, sp- uh, speaking for a long period of time in high volume voice. Eh, hindi naman siguro, like, hindi ka naman nag-sasalita nag, uh, ng eight hours siguro, straight. Mm-hmm. For teachers. teachers, call center, uh, professionals. So, merong mga vocal overdoers, ikaw yun. Yung malakas tumawa, aggressive uh, personality uh, talkative <laughs> uh, ang galing ng example no? <laughs> uh, vocal, <laughs> guilty ba? Oh, tapos uh, yun I- meron namang voice misuse mm. iba naman yun voice misuse is talking in a wrong manner ah, may ganun doktor yeah, like for example um, salita ka walang breath support so salita ka lang ng salita hindi ka humihinga in between Uy, parang ganyan din ako. Mm. Or, Gusto ko ako lahat yan. <laughs> or talking in a wrong uh, pitch. No, sobrang baba yung boses mo. Hindi. Kunyari, soprano ka, tapos you're talking low, hindi mm. pwede yun. Kasi dapat a little oh, bit higher. Oo, parang ikaw. Soprano ka. Ah, hindi. I'll talk. I'll talk ba? Yeah. Singer yan eh, magaling. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Ah, so yan yung vocal so, overdoer. Uh, eh, oh, hindi, hindi ka naman, uh, hindi ka naman, pwede hindi ka misuse, pero overdoer ka lang. Like, you, you, uh, no, you tend to to overdo your vocal activity Mm-mm. in that particular time. Everybody uh, experiences horne- hoarseness. <laughs> hoarseness sometimes. <laughs> okay. So, sabi natin teachers, call center agents, uh, mga trainers. Uh, but who are the yeah, most singers? Well, singers. singers. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, anong sa singer? Ma- actually, yung mga overdoers, isa sa ma- uh, example are singers. people who wants to go to a uh, uh, parang uh, basketball tournament. Ay, may sisigaw, a cheer! A cheer, a Tapos yon mga coach, gano'n. Mm-hmm. Oh, kasi Overdoers. pasigaw ka lagi, yeah. di ba? Motivator. Eh, kung hindi sisigaw yung coach sa basketball. Parang wala namang motivation yan. Okay. Kung okay. 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 nga, oo nga. Ano ba pa lang basketball gano'n na sikat? Sige. Sige. Hindi lang ako nanod ng basketball. Eh, gusto mo, ah! <laughs> ang hirap, di ba? Jewelski, kasi inabot ko. Ka-age. Wala ako alam sa basket pa nila yun. Katabi mo na sa airport na pangkatabat. <laughs> so, sila risk at risk. Okay. Yeah, okay, kasi, uh, actually, tawag sa kanila professional voice users. Because they use their voice for their profession. Like kayo, you're professional mm-hmm. voice users. Because yung mga teachers of call center professionals, singers, uh, radio uh, announcers. Kami uh, once a week lang naman. At ganun pa rin. You use your voice for your profession. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yung uh, advocacy ng aming group or yung organization is uh, vocal health awareness for professional voice users. So, uh, yun ang gusto naming iparating voice care talaga. Ay, ganun ganun dyan. So, kailangan talaga. Anong activities nung uh, yung the Philippine of uh, Phil, of uh, uh, Laringo, actually ganito says, Philippine Academy of Laringo Bronco Esophagology and Phoniatrics <laughs> started with just a study group lang. Mm-hmm. Pero naging under the umbrella siya ng Philippine Society of Otolaryngology na society. So, naging umbrella, te, nagiging specialty group kami for larynx, for the laryngology. Ang kalagyan. Ang yeah. advocacy dito, Doktor, is para mas mapangalagaan. Yes. Yeah. So, awareness. Yeah. So, so, how to care for your oh. vocal cords. Yes, I do. Yes. 
di ba imagine mo ilang million ang nasa call center and BPO industry di ba yes. so hanap buhay nila yun eh so mm-hmm. di ba kung hindi maalagaan wala silang yeah it's like i just had my lecture doon last mm-hmm. last week sa isang call center mm-hmm. and you know you will be surprised parang ano ang gusto talaga nila marinig yung how to take care of your vo- how to take care of their voice o oh, kasi uh, gabi puyat yosi soft drinks yeah, lifestyle alam mo. lifestyle tapos yeah. salita ng salita mm-hmm. uh, so, yung mga causes ng hoarseness or may ibang causes okay so maraming causes mm-hmm. um, we have to define kung ano ang ang pinaka common is uh, voice abuse and misuse yun ang sinabi ko kanina mm-hmm. and uh, may sa voice abuse and misuse maraming pwedeng mangyari sa vocal cords mo For example, magkaroon ka ng vocal nodule, mm. vocal polyps, vocal cyst, muscle tension, dysphonia. Bakit ba nagkakaroon ng nodule tsaka cyst sa vocal cords? Because of the impact of, uh, ah, of the vocal folds. Sa, uh, sa, sa sige-sige mo nagamit ng boses ano, na, na vocal folds. Nag-ano siya? Nag-heat yeah. uh, each other. Kasi may muscle yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung muscle na yun, di ba? Pag movement na yan, yan nagkakos na... Nagpa-vibrate yun. Uh-huh. To produce a sound. Ah, uh-huh, to hmm. produce Just a sound. Just nagkakaroon ng bukol doon. So, so uh, yung constant bukol. heating of those two muscles yes. causes a cyst. Um, oh. Actually, ang nodule is bilateral. So, malalaman mo nodule because both right and left vocal folds meron. Merong book. Mm. Mm. Yung cyst naman, makikita mo isa lang, one side lang, and uh, may, may laman yun. Mm-hmm. No? Ah. Para rin siyang ano, no? form of inflammation. Yeah. Due to trauma. Oh, sa trauma. Nagkaroon uh-huh. siya ng cyst formation. Uh-huh. Meron din naman vocal fold polyp. Ano so, naman yun, Doc? Yung polyp yun, naman, it's also one demonstrate. form of, uh, due to the impact din sa vocal folds, mm-hmm. tumutubo yung laman, tapos nagkaroon ng pedicle. Pwede siyang Parang gumagal. Para ano lang yan, skin pag. Ah, yun, para, para excess. Ah, ah. Uh, Pero mas malaki, no? Hindi naman. Pero ah, may, nasa meron. May maliit din. May maliit din. At nasa loob ng, doon, nasa voice. Nasa vocal fold. Nasa vocal yeah. fold. Yeah. Tapos meron din na due to voice abuse din and misuse, magkaroon ka rin ng vo- muscle tension dysphonia. Yun naman, wala kang vocal nodule, wala kang vocal cyst, wala kang polyp. Pero yung uh, neck muscles mo, sobrang tension, nagkaroon ka ng problem sa pagsalita because of the tension of the neck. Pero this, this is the yun, and extrinsic muscles of the larynx. Physiologic yun o sakit na rin? Sakit na rin. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero Mag- temporary, Mag- nawawala. Pero kailangan mo i-define na meron tension. Kailangan magpa-check up ka para uh-huh. malaman mo. Parang form yun ng cramps. In a sense. Hindi eh. Kasi parang may continuous hindi, ano, diba? hindi. contraction. Hindi, hindi. Ang pag nagko-contract yung extrinsic and uh, intrinsic muscles of the larynx, yung larynx mo umaakyap, nagtitense. Mm-hmm. Sak- mm-hmm. Doon siya. Kaya masakit magsalita. Yun, yun ang mga symptoms niya. Masakit magsalita. Or ma- magkaroon ka ng weak voice, low-pitched voice. Habi yung baba ba ang voice? Yes. Tapos magkakaroon ka ng... W- pero wala kang lesion sa vocal cords mo. In-examine. In- in- pag, ano, pag tinignan mo, tense Dito. yung muscle. So, yung ganun, inaano yan, direct laryngeal massage. Anong muscle man cause niya? Yung nagtitense. Sila sino? Anong yeah. mga ginagawa yeah. nung... Voice abuse, yeah. Ah, sa boses. Yung yeah. halikawa, nanood ka na. Ah, ano ako nang nagsulta ni Malakas. Cheering ganyan. Nag-cheer. Tapos sigaw ka ng sigaw. Pwede sigaw ka magkaganon. Yes, pwede. Sigaw ka ng... Oo, oh, pwede ganyan. Oh. Lalo na sa concert minsan, di ba? Ano na. Tapos bigyan wala ka ng boses. Hindi. Yung sa, uh, minsan naman sa mga singers, pag na biglang nagkaroon ng walang boses, yun Iba mostly yun. common cause is uh, vocal hemorrhage. Ah, pero yung audience, hemorrhage. ah, parang nagbibleed. Yeah, pumuputok yung mga microvessels. Even if your pitch of the song is low, oh, nababa na yung kanta. Most likely sa mga mataas yun mataas eh, sa mga yun. belters eh. Nagbibirit-birit. Uh-huh. Birit-birit eh. Imagine mo kung nga, uh, ano, alam mo yung mga ano, tenor, ano ba yung tawag dyan kila Johnny Mathis? Ano ba yung, uh, baritone? Baritone, no? Uh-huh. Eh, yung ba kaya nag ano, voice horse eh. Pwede. Wala naman. Ibig sabihin ba? Diba? Mababa naman yung boses. Hindi. Pero lagi lang yung ginagamit. Yeah, it doesn't matter kung... They are professional voice users. Mm-hmm. So they are prone. Mm-hmm. Sino ba ba rin tawag dito sa Pilipinas? Alam mo yun, si Dr. Bongo, siya lahat ng mga pasyente niyan. 
uh, top popular singers. Singers. Then, hindi natin pwede i-repeal eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. O, diba? So, ano yung most common nun? So, abu- voice abuse. abuse. Yeah, yung mga nag-share sa, ano, sa, alamak, UA, UAAP, diba? Yung mga sigaw ng sigaw, diba? Or very passionate sa game. Talagang hanggang maubos. Yeah, ng, that, grabe. Bo- mga vocal overdoers uh, yun. Kasi hindi naman sila professional voice users. It just, just so happened na sumigaw lang sila sa basketball game. Oh, yung ano, paano yung umagang-umaga o gabi na na mga nanay na sigaw ng sigaw, hinahanap yung... <laughs> ano rin yan? Vocal overdoers. Pero in the eyes of the child, vocal overdoers yan. Sa eyes ng nanay, sila hobbing. Hobbing sleep. Kasi diba, umagang... Alam mo yung si Alina niyan, ang passion niyan talaga, yung mga public school teachers. Yeah. Oh, kasi, uh-huh. ano din nila yun? Ka, ka, kapital din nila yun. Like, course, every agent. Kasi yung voice users. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, hindi. Ito nga eh. Kasi ni Aileen in the sense that she wants to do something for public school teachers to um, to how the, uh, how they can protect or prevent, vo- uh, protect their vocal cords. Ano ba yun? Yes. Ano ba? Uh, ano, kasi kailangan kasi they have to have an uh, amplifier or lapel. Kasi in in a, in a room of 20 or more, you should have oh, uh, lapel. Mm-hmm. Because Ang hirap. lalo na kung grade school, yung tinutunan mo. Ang ingay, diba? Ang ingay. Tapos, they will uh, speak not, ano, at the same time. They Minsan, ang lawak-lawak ng room. Diba? Yeah. Ay, yeah. Ang public school, hindi malalaki yung room. Under the tree. Malalaki yung rooms kasi, Doc. At yung blackboard room. lang yung nilalagay sa gitna, gym yun. <laughs> Tapos, di ba, eh, yeah, public school yeah. ako eh, dati yeah. sa elementary. So, talagang igigit na mo lang yung blackboard, tas nasa court kayo. Diba? Parang yung section 1, section 2, gano'n? Oh, oh. Tapos yung magsasalita, yung section 1, oh, tapos oh. magsasalita din sila yung section 2. So, kaya ako na nai sa public school. Kasi, hindi dito na tayo sa'yo. For example, so these are the people, the teachers, the seniors, actually everybody, George and Cecil. Oo, oh, na mahal. And Martin Aguda. Kasi ang trainer. Local overdoer niya sobra. Oo. Oh. <laughs> and uh, those who work on radio and TV singers and so on and so forth. At least. So everybody who uses their voice too much mm-hmm. are prone to vocal voice disorder. Mm-hmm. Or voice disorder. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, Di ba exercises niya? Eh, mamaya na natin pag-usapan yung exercises na yan. Yes. Kasi meron sure. yung mga taginiting na kamay doon sa boobs natin. And so, later. Manatiling nakatutok sa DZRJ 810AM, 8Try Media at 8Try TV, Cable Link Channel 7. This is 8Try TV. Great things often come from humble beginnings. In 1995, Aquabest is established with the simple vision of an Aquabest store in every community. Driven by passion and commitment, and guided by its vision, Aquabest soared to be the leader in its industry. Through the years, many things have changed. New ideas flourished as Aquabest went ahead and forged new ground, reinventing the way we see and experience water through technology. From a single store, Aquabest can now be found everywhere in the country. And now, a new chapter is ready to be written. New communities and trends may come, but in the end, the vision remains the same. My loved ones, ko, sobrang importante talaga nila sa akin. Kaya tuwing misip ko na ko, ni Josep. Ayoko silang mahawe. Laging lola ko. Since nawala yung mami ko, sana yung tumay yung nanay ko. And yung mga kapatid ko naman, sila yung lagi kong akulitan. Gira ko na nga lang sila makasama. Ahawaan ko pa. Don't worry! Sagot ka lagi sa ginhawa ng Neozep. Love ones ko, di mahawa. More of my ginhawa stories sa Neozep Facebook. Trust in quality healthcare. Yung love yan. Mantikang makape, mag-dishwashing na zuli! So worry! Zulit 
This program is brought to you by A Tri Media Pro Incorporated. A clinica on air. Okay. Ay, tayo ay nagbabalik sa Clinica on Air Thursday edition. Ano ko na masyadong i-overdue yung voice. Hindi ako sanay. Okay. Uh, Tiyatang nabungo siya. What are the different types of ano, voice therapies? Okay. Um, define mo muna natin kung anong voice therapy and define muna natin kung anong vocology. Oh, sige. Para at least may idea sila. Vocology, ology, meaning study. Vocology. Vocology. Uh, <laughs> Pag-aaral parang libro lang. Ano? Pero VO to, VO. It's a science of uh, voice Pardon. habilitation and rehabilitation. It means mm -hmm. prevention. Okay. And intervention. Ah, yeah, voice habilitation and rehabilitation. So technically, change the habits of the way you speak. Yes, that's right. right. Yeah. So rehab naman. So uh, ang rehab is, uh, may, may disorder ka na. Yung habilitation is para wala ka pa, prevention lang. So, mm -hmm. yung rehab is, may disorder ka na, may intervention na gagawin sa'yo para umayos yung boss, bosses mo. At saka mga Arlene, ano ba yung fish, fish, ano ba yun? Bago niyo yung fish, fish, ano ba yun? Phonetic, phonetic, phonetic. Ano ba yung kanina? Phonetic. Phonetics. Phonetics. Yes. Ano yun, ano yan? It's a, ano, ah, speech naman. Speech naman. Uh, start. Voice and speech. At, uh, kasi you, you do the, the therapy it's, for it's voice. It's a study group actually. So, hindi naman yung, we, ganito, um, otolaryngologist ako, but, uh, a laryngologist, but I also do uh, therapy. Mm -hmm. But, ang mga uh, speech language pathologists, they also do it. Oh. They also do voice therapy. But, uh, nag-concentrate kasi ako sa singing therapy. I know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yun ang, ang training ko is actually uh, voice and singing therapy. Okay. Doc, um, pag mag... Okay. Meron ba nga, no? May temp... Karam, ano ba kadalasan yan? Temporary yung mga ano nila? Or may mga long term? Nakaka-recover ba? Okay. Yung voice resistant. therapy, yung voice therapy is uh, effective sa voice disorders na yung cause is uh, yung may heavy impact on the vocal cords. O... Oh, ito yung mga ito yung mga uh, guilty of voice abuse. Mm -hmm. So kung kung ganyan ang problema, ma malunasan ng voice therapy. Mm -hmm. Even without surgery. Kunyari okay. voice vo voice nodule, pwedeng pwedeng magkaroon ng voice therapy lang na without, hindi, without surgery. Without nodule. surgery. Ano uh, po yun? Pagkamaagapan ng voice therapy. So, yan talagang every every, uh, every month. Uh, ako ay suggest na every two, week, every, every two weeks, one session every two weeks for the next eight weeks. Tapos during that session, ano yan? May okay, mga, so ang voice therapy is composed ninyo. of, una muna, i-evaluate yung voice. Mm -hmm. Kung anong problema. Para kang... May degrees yan ng horses. Yeah, ganito, ganito. So, evaluate mo yung voice, actual uh, evaluation, and uh, perceptual, may mga perceptual uh, uh, evaluation ka. So, fill up yung patient, mag-fill up ng form, mm -hmm. voice handicap index. Itong voice handicap index will help you, gu will guide you, anong, anong per perception ng, vo ng patient sa voice niya and how other people perceive <coughs> his or her voice. Mm -hmm. Tapos, uh, ako naman, I listen to her, I interview her, and we have this called grabas. We, we grade we grade the hoarseness. Mm -hmm. Grabas um, means grade. Uh, um, G is grade, uh, grade ng hoarseness niya. Ang R okay. is the roughness. Ang B is breathiness. A is asthenia. And S is strain. Mm -hmm. So, may 0 to 3 yun. Mm -hmm. 3 is the, the, the most, the yung pinakamataas and zero is wala. I said the base mo dun, dun based on that lang mas. interview mo and ano and then yung mga ang laryngologist will sisilipin yung boy yung kanyang vocal cords and uh, magtitingnan kung may may lesion kung anong problem kung may swelling mm -hmm. so pag nasilip na so after that yung therapist or yung 
uh, mag-voice therapy na, we'll start na kung ano na talagang problem, gagawa na siya ng program for you. Like, for example, uh, magkakaroon siya ng education sa professional, ah, sorry, uh, ano, uh, vocal hygiene. Vocal hygiene? Kaya, importante yun, lahat ng vo voice therapy may vocal hygiene mm. education. So, you have to remember the four vocal hygiene principles. Mayroon vocal Na, hygiene? Yeah, dapat alam ng lahat ng professional voice user ito. Ano yung gagal? Hindi. Sige, ano yun? Vocal hygiene. Vocal, <laughs> vocal hygiene eh, are uh, a series of uh, mga gagawin ng isang professional voice user na ma-manage yung voice niya. Okay, okay. So, Sige ang isa, number one, is maintain the vitality of your vocal folds. How? Paano nga ba? Okay. Exercises yun eh. Ayan. Ang pinakasimple is water. Kailangan hindi ma-dehydrate yung, yung vocal cords mo kasi it's as big as a 25 cent uh, coin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, air goes in and out. So, ma-dehydrate siya. So, mag nagiging dry. Ay, dry oh. So, dry pa. Tapos, salita ka pa ng salita. So, mas prone na. Nagkakalos uh, formation yung tinatawag na nodule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talos growth. Ganyan. Wait, yung question. Di ba, may nabasa ako yun na, di ba usually yung iba pagka nangangate yung throat, umakain silang mental candy. Eh, sabi nila, nabasa ko that mental candy actually exacerbates mm -hmm. the itchiness or Actually, worsens. mental candy can further dehydrate your vocal cords. Oh, pa. That's why, di ba? So, hindi ideal pag horse na maghanap pa ng mental, oh. Yan, yeah. So, yun. So, maintain the vitality of your vocal folds by drinking water. small, frequent sips of water. So, hindi pwedeng gulp of gallons or water ka na pagkano mo. Uh, 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 dapat unti-unti. Like, ngayon, dapat may tubig tayo sa tabi natin. Mm. Kasi kung one hour, yun ang ideal. Okay? <laughs> so, every time may <laughs> basahin yung mga board. <laughs> kung teacher ka, may lecture ka, always bring uh, mineral water beside you or uh, glass of water. Or, kung singer ka sa concerts, you, you notice may tala silang water. Mm -hmm. Because they need to drink small frequent sips to hydrate your vocal uh, cords. Actually, even not, kahit hindi sabihin ni Arlene, even if we're not told, as a singer, o oh, di ba? No, kasi si Dr. Si Dr. Hindi naman sabihin sa mga ano, di ba? Obviously, ako personally, pag nag-jam-jam, -jam, o ano, yung tubig, andun di ba, Arl? Ngayon, maya, pero unti lang yung sip mo. Uh, napansin ko yun, but they, they have not been told or di ba, hindi naman sila na-instruct. Hindi lang ako sure ngayon, pero minsan baka may mga ibang BPO or call center, di ba, na hindi nga nagpapadala ng water kasi yeah, maraming mga kasi nga, uh, oo. But you know, they have, to, they have to just make the, ano, they have to do something about it kasi magdadry yung vocal folds, magkakaroon ng voice disorder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yun, maintain the vitality. That's why, no? no? It's a must. Okay, okay. aside from water, you need to avoid drying irritants. So what are these? Mm -hmm. Drying irritants are uh, coffee, caffeine, okay. mm -hmm. caffeine, uh, chocolate, mm -hmm. uh, cocaine, kung nagko-cocaine ka, sorry. Ah, wala, bawal na ngayon. Uh, bawal. Mm -hmm. Tapos, uh, Matagal naman bawal na, pero... High, high doses of vitamin C, like mga 1,000 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Tapos, uh, uh, mga diuretic medications, antihistamines. Mm -hmm. High doses of vitamin C can dry the vocal cords. Yeah. Regardless yeah. whether oh, it's, whether oh, it's oh, acidic or non-acidic vitamin C. When taking for a long period of time naman. Ano nga yan? Orally yeah. taken or IV? Orally. Kasi ako nag-IV ako eh. 1,000 milligrams? Oh. Nakaka-dry. Nakaka-dry yun. Yeah, for whitening. <laughs> Pero nakaka-dry nga ng... Kapit na nga naman, dry naman yung vocal cords mo. Hindi mo ako sip sa tatay ba? Ano pa yun, Doc? Tapos? Okay, so mga drying irritants yun. Yung sinasabi mo, Doc, ako kasi so many friends in in the BPO and call center industry. Eh, yun pa naman yung mga gustong gusto nila. Kasi puyat sila, kailangan ng energy, kailangan magkape, kailangan mag-chocolate. Once, one pop is 125 milligrams of caffeine. So, yun, allowed yun. Pero pag sobra-sobra, pwede sila mag-decaf. I don't know kung Pero, can help. Pero, you know, uh, just maybe uh, they have to find other means. Pwede ba yun na? Pwede pa rin sila noon. Mag-sobra sila dun sa... Minim, uh, maximum, pero inom lang sila ng inom ng Water, tubig. Water, pwede. Pero dapat tiyaga sila. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dapat talaga. 
yung pag uh, uh, rehydrate ng vocal folds. Mm-hmm. So, yun, avoid drying irritants and then uh, yun, water talaga. Water is very important. Very, very important yun sa vitality mm-hmm. ng vocal folds. Uh, yung pangalawa is you treat the vocal uh, muscle as an athletic muscle. Mm-hmm. So, it needs to be warmed up. It needs to be cooled down. Oh, may exercises ka dyan? Pwede mo yung yeah. demonstrate? Actually, marami. Pag marami, pero ang, ang isa sa mga man, practical, oh, oh. isang practical, uh, isang practical uh, uh, exercise is the lip flutter, which is, oh. so it's just, uh, yung laro ng mga bata, you know, you know, we, we, you do it when you're alone. <laughs> Nakatingin ako sa... Dito na rin sa akin ni Arlene pagka ba gano, before singing. Oh, kasi diba, singer ka, di ba? Ano ba? Ito ulit. <laughs> <laughs> Para lang malaman okay, so ng mga pala pakinig. Okay, so you need to have your vocal... Uh, at bakit kailangan mag-vocalize? Mm-hmm. Kasi ang daming singers, ang daming singers na hindi nag-vocalize. Diretso agad sa... Diretso sila. Kanta lang... Af, kanta sila, even... Kung may gig sila, kakanta lang. And then... After that, wala na. Kasi hindi sila train. Yeah, hindi naman siya na hindi sila train. Tamad. Alam mo, Arlene, pwede mo palang advocacy yan sa ano, uh, uh, Pinoy Singers, ano, Filipino Artists Association. Magli-lecture ka about taking care of your voice as a singer. Ano may pangalan ng OPM? OPM Artist ba yun? Ano mm-hmm. gano'n? Pwede. Yeah. Meron, meron. Or gano'n. OPM. Or, uh, uh, ay. Ang oh, issue ng Pilipinong ang mga awit tama. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pwede sila doon. Dapat mag-train ka doon. <laughs> Tapos, emphasize okay. mo yung value ng ano, exercise. Tama. So yun, <laughs> bo- um, ganito. Before, <laughs> you, si before you sing or before yeah. you do your vocal activity, <laughs> like for a parang mag- magandang event, for mm-hmm. example, or, or concert mo, or may lecture ka, you do some exercises to prepare your muscles for for that, mo- for to have a maximum, ma-maximize yung work niya ng muscles. So, you need to vocalize para mag-increase yung blood flow sa muscles. Mm-hmm. Yun lang naman ang purpose mo. I- increase yung uh, blood flow sa muscles and then make the muscles move, na, na smooth and magandang movement. Kasi nga naman yan, di ba? Kunwari, you're not talking and all of a sudden you started talking with a very high pitch or loud voice para nabibigla. Nabibigla. Oh. So like for example, It mag-jogging ka. So oh. ito, kailangan mo mag-walking muna mm-hmm. and then mag-exercise um, yung mga legs mo. Mm-hmm. So that's why you are up stretching. So para hindi, masi- hindi mabigla. Mm-hmm. So okay, after yun. naman, af- after, after a concert of two hours, kunyari, or Pag- talking for, na. ano, so pagod yung muscles, nagpupull na yung blood sa muscles ng vocal cords mo. So you need to warm, uh, cool down. So, So what you'll do is humming lang, humming exercise. Mm-hmm. So that yung uh, unti-unti ma ano yung blood flow. Mm-hmm. Para hindi mag-swell. Para hindi mo cool down lang muscle. Cool down lang, cool so down. So typically, so, essentially, yung vocal cords is a muscle. Treat it yeah, like a muscle. Yeah, it's a muscle. muscle. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's that you will put it at work when you start talking. Especially pagka yung mga uh, ano. So that means to say, before sta- ano, your job as a teacher, mag-exercise ka muna para i-warm up yung muscle. Tapos pagkatapos, at towards the end of the afternoon, anong trabaho mo? I-cool down with humming. Cool down with humming or basta a soft singing. Basta very, very well, yung walang, walang uh, hard vocal activity. And I also suggest na you have to do vocal pacing. Meaning, you have to want I advise the teachers, for example, they have lecture of two hours, mm-hmm. you talk for 15 minutes and then rest for 15 minutes. So, equivalent hour or equivalent time Indonesia. kung anong ginawa mong activity, dapat may equivalent rest, rest na ganyan no? din. Kung nagsalita ka ng 20 minutes, dapat rest ka ng 20 minutes. Yes. Ano nga yun yan? So, you have to... Rest tayo uh, ng one hour. <laughs> kunyari, <laughs> kunyari you, you lectured for one hour or, or you, you have a two hour lecture. 15 minutes uh, magsalita ka, 15 minutes, you let the students do their uh, res- recitation, mm-hmm. uh, reporting, discussion, and then ana- salita ka na naman 15 minutes, and then another 15 minutes, sila na naman. So, non-lectured activities. Non-lecture activities. Mm-hmm. Yung ang gagawin nila. Mm-hmm. Eh, minsan, di ba, you're also invited sa mga lectures. Eh, di ba, dire-diretso yan, ano? Talagang... Ay, hindi naman full length ako. Sa mga one hour, usually. So, one to two, less pa nga. 
Yeah, mm. usually you should bring water with you. Mm-hmm. You ask for water. So, di ba four yun? So, nasa na okay ba tayo? Okay na. So, so una muna, maintain vitality. vitality. Mm-hmm. Na, number two, treat your muscles as uh, athletic muscle. Mm-hmm. Yung pangatlo naman, voice uh, vocal voice conservation mm-hmm. or vocal pacing. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Mm-hmm. There are different types of conservation. Pwede kang hindi talaga magsalita like after the operation na operahan ka kunyari mm-hmm. so you, you you will rest for two weeks ganyan or voice conservation talk only when needed huwag ka na magisaw-saw sa <laughs> mga chismis or <laughs> tapos mo na mag-lecture na tapos, tapos mo lang wait alam mo ba yung si ano si <laughs> ano si voice <laughs> yeah, yung sabihin mo doon sa karo teacher mo voice conservation <laughs> hindi siya oh, wag ka na makichismis oh, tsaka hindi lang yun like for example katatapos mo lang ng lecture tapos ang lakas ng tawa mo pa after mm. nakiki, nakikitawa ka doon kay ano sa best friend mo uh, so yun and so, so, sure kaya after... pag may nag joke pag nag lecture ako sabi ko Voice conservation. <laughs> <laughs> so, punta sa faculty room, mag-uusap-usap. No? Yes. Oh, oh. Dapat, oh. ano, talaga oh. will, will be uh, disciplined enough to to conserve your voice. Kasi, use it only when needed. Yeah. Ano yung habitation or... Therapy? Habilitation. Habi- habilitation. Or rehabilitation. Uh, 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 pa- part and parcel. Part na, yan ng, hab- ng voice therapy. Itong sinasabi ko ngayon, mm. voice, voca- voice hygiene. Ah, mm-hmm. ah. Okay. okay, so yun, yun. So yun, tatlo. Yun, the yun, fourth yun. one? The fourth is uh, maintain a healthy environment for your vocal fold. Meaning, kung may allergy ka, pagamot ka. Mm. Kasi yun ang mga magkukos ng swelling. Uh-huh. For example, meron kang uh, mahilig ka sa uh, fit, tight-fitting clothes. Uh-huh. Eh, magkakaroon ka ng acid reflux. Oh, or, kaya kung may mahilig ka kasi... kumain ng mga sour food, mm-hmm. spicy mm-hmm. food, so magkakaroon ka ng acid reflux that will also do damage to your vocal folds. So, maintain a healthy environment. So, lahat ng mga sakit na meron nga na possible, ayusin mo na. In, huwag mong pabayaan na maglinger because it will do damage to the vocal folds. Kaya yung may gastritis na nagre-reflux, minsan nagkakaroon ng hoarseness. Diba? Pansin mo yan? Diba? Pag may acid ka. Mm-hmm. Ang dahil question ko nga dapat kanina, Ah, uh, yung nag si sneeze Horse ah, ba yun ah, or ah, sore throat? Sneezing is... What, well, I mean, like, you know, sometimes, di ba, you... Di ba, after sneezing, nagkakaroon ka ng... Is that hoarseness or sore throat? Nagkaroon ng... Parang nag yung voice mo, di ba? Yeah, kung mag... Basta anything na mag-differ differ sa quality ng voice is hoarseness. Okay. Ayan. Uy, kung may mga katanungan kayo, mga kaklinika, pwede pala kayo mag- uh, pwede kayo mag-participate sa ating text line 0917-798-8910 0917-798-8910 or sa ating Twitter at 8 Media or Facebook ng 8 Media at 8 Media. O oh, ano pa, Ali? Ano pang so that is... Uh... So, yun, yun ang part ng voice therapy. So, una muna, uh, vocal health, uh, vocal hygiene education. Importante yun. Pag alam mo na yon, almost half done ka na, ang, ang goal mo kasi is for to empower the patient to take care of her voice. Mm-hmm. So, imp- patient empowerment. So, yung, yung next mo is vocal exercises na. Depende sa diferensya ng pasyente. Uh-oh. There's no uh, ano, such thing as, oh sige, itong vocal exercise for all. Na parang general Hindi exercise. Ah, yes. Kailangan gagawa ka talaga ng program for him kung for him or her kung depende kung anong problema niya sa boses niya. May mga equipment pa for vocal exercises? Parang ano? O oh, hindi? Talagang siya talaga. Mas vocalization. Ng... Oh, oh, parang... Yes, siya talaga. Ah, ganun. Yeah, mm-hmm. pero um, yung equipment is for you, for the doctor to take a look or to examine the vocal folds. Oh. Yun ang mga video stroboscopy, flexible laryngoscopy. So, yun ang mga available sa aming voice center. Oh. Pero hindi siya for to improve the vocal, the hoarseness. Hindi siya. Diagnostic lang. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, so, so talagang it is an exercise that you as a patient will perform. Y- yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. But, but you need to guide. You, you need to yes, guide her yes, to oh. do it correctly. So ngayon, ang ang isa pang importante is eliminate bad vocal habits. Yung bad vocal habits? Yeah, yung mga bad vocal habits like yung mga glottal attack like wala, yung parang ganon. So you 
yung mga magsalita na parang pabigla na parang glotal at parang bawal magalit pwede yes <laughs> pwede ka naman magalit na hindi ka nag uh, sumisigaw or eh, kung nainis ka bawal kasi sa nga yung glotal attack ang tawag dun eh, eh kung hindi ka naman professional voice user at wala naman glotal attack mm-hmm. wala mm-hmm. 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 wala <laughs> oh, kaya malambig si doktora <laughs> diba ay wala ko wala ko wala ko wala ko wala ko wala ko so yun so um so uh, uh, avoid yung mga bad vocal habit dapat mawala yun part ng goal ng therapy is to eliminate uh, bad vocal habits. Smoking. Mm-hmm. Eh, di ka ba? Hindi pwede. Parang yun. parang expression yun, di ba? Yung, ano, yung global, global attack. Nag- Hindi naman. Uh, actually, may mga... Paano may, paano may improve yun? Alam mo ba sa, ano, wala. Kailangan, ano ka lang. Mas uh, iwasan. Aware ka lang. Mm-hmm. Aware ka lang. So, you need to be aware sa mga... George traffic ba? Hmm? George traffic ba? Traffic? Oh, okay lang din naman di. Eh kung blow pala sa kanan dating na. Uh, traffic ba? Ta traffic, ganun ba? Blow pala. Traffic. Oh, traffic. Yo na blow pala. Ganun di ba? Blow pala ng traffic. Ganun ba? Okay. Or ah uh, kina kinakalabit ka. Ano ba? Yeah, blow pala. Oo. Kasi sabi mo, ano ka bang blow pala naman? <laughs> So, <laughs> ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Okay, avoid lotal attack. Okay. So, so pa- part ng voice therapy yun. So, the, because uh, that uh, strains the, ano, the vocal cords. Yung yeah, kasi at- may impact eh. Nagkakaroon ng impact. Yung Parang bigla siya. Na- yes. Ah, okay. So, yun. Um, uh, kailangan alam ng patient yung voice hygiene principles yung sinabi ko next alam dapat alam niya na yung gagawin niya and then uh, avoid yung mga bad vocal habits tapos turuan mo talaga na ayu na alagaan niya yung voice niya napupunta na lang siya sa iyo pag hindi niya na talaga kaya kasi important is prevention so we need to prevent voice disorder ara naalala ko may patient ka na hindi mo pinagsasalita eh Usually mga post-surgical patients yun, yung pinampa voice stress talaga. Yan yung katagal doon. Kasi voice ano na, conservation na, hindi yung total. Uh, uh, pa, magsalita ka pero al- uh, ano lang talaga, yung kailangan lang. Pero yung mga like na operahan, gaano sila? Usually ano yan? Weeks ba yan? Hindi sila yung araw lang so, naman. Hindi, they have to to rest their voice for two weeks for healing. Mm. Oh, pero ano, um, so for example, okay yung therapy, tapos okay yung surgery, who does not heal? May mga gano'n. Mm-hmm. Pero mga gano'n. Okay, actually contraindicated yung surgery kung yung patient hindi niya ma-eliminate yung yung impact, yung impact sa voice niya. Mm-hmm. Ay, so, hindi sa work niya, magsalita. Ay, hindi niya mapigilan or hindi siya oh, hindi siya uh, hindi siya ano ba? Hindi, parang hindi niya makontrol yung In short, contraindicated sa atin yung surgery. Ano, <laughs> hindi niya <laughs> <mag-modify laughs> <not here. laughs> So, kailangan ma- ma- modify mo talaga yung mm. yung lifestyle mo. Mm. You really need to. May mga cases ba na nabawalan sila totally ng boses? Yan. Tawag sa walang total na walang boses is aphonia. Alam mo, may mga may mga times na af- it's due to psychological. Ah, very common. Psychiatric uh, part. For, uh, sorry, psychiatric uh, reason. Ma- hindi na magsalita. Wala nang lumalabas. Mga emotionally uh, damaged uh, uh, people. Uh, pero not necessarily because of not the necessarily. damage. Not necessarily. Pero yung mga wala talaga, na wala, yung mga paralysis na talaga na na hindi na nag-paralyze ng vocal mm-hmm. cords. Or... Ayaw naman nila niyan yung bingi, di ba? Pagka ano yung nagbibingi-bingihan, yun ay dinig naman. Parang iba naman. Ay, iba naman yun. <laughs> so, di ba? Iba naman yun. <laughs> so, voice hygiene, voice therapy, and vocal exercises, vocal exercises. Yes. elimination of bad vocal habits, mm-hmm. And, uh, yun, yung uh, uh, awareness of yung mga risk factors. Because once you are aware of your risk factors, uh, avoid mo yan. you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Ito ka ito. May mga, eh di ba, 
Bak, uh, totoo ba yun na when you're a singer or when you're in call center or teacher, uh, iwasan na uminom ng malamig na tubig or there's no truth to that? Actually, uh, it's controversial. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But, it's controversial. But, you know, kung titignan mo yung, yung effect ng malamig mm-hmm. sa muscles, it can cause, uh, ano, uh, constriction ng Contraction. blood vessels. Tapos, kung what's... Na- Ang, ang ina-advise ko kasi, inom ka ng malamig kung walang ice lang. I- iba kasi kung walang kasi may ice you know? na eh. Mm-hmm. So, okay lang yung walang ice. Pero kung may ice, I would not advise kung may mga may mga activity ka na may involve yung mga vocal activities mo. Like, may long lecture ka or may... Oh, dito sing- ka na rin ng Arlene. Eh, yung salabat. Ano bang ba? Hmm, ba 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 talaga? Kasi ang salabat is anti-inflammatory. Meron siya anti-inflammatory and soothing effect. Uh-oh. But walang therapeutic claim. Hindi siya gamot. Mm-hmm. Oh, Nagsusooth so, lang nung yeah. muscles. So, uh, kasi na ito. Ang soreness talaga. Hindi siya gamot oh. na like, inom ka kung may laryngitis ka. Hindi. Pero mag, it can soothe. Ang pinakamalagang natutunan ko ngayon, yung mental candy, di ba? Uh, hindi pala yun. No, ba sinasabi, hindi nga yung kinig sa akin. Di ba? Sarap eh. Nag- malamig sa <laughs> ano eh. Yung ano, yung ano, I mean, salt, lukewarm water, and... Uh, Kaya, okay uh, lang. Yung uh, gargle. <laughs> yeah. Hindi ako talaga ka ba? Oo. Ano, ulit. Water and salt. Water and salt. Gargle ka, it's okay. It's okay. accepted. Mm-hmm. Oo. So, June, ano, baking soda? Um... Hindi. hindi kami nag-add. Hindi, hindi ko gargle, masyado gargle. kami nag-gargle. Hindi. Salt and water is okay. Mas better. Tsaka um, kung mag-gargle ka, piliin mo yung nan uh, alcohol free Yung alcohol-free na gargle. Mas maganda. Oo. Kasi yung non-drying. Oo. Diba? Alcohol kasi can dry. Oo. Yung si Martin Aguda, non-alcohol daw ang bigamitin mong ano, gargle. Baka iba naman yun. Baka... Tsaka <laughs> <laughs> yung drink mo daw, non-alcohol. Oh, speaking of alcohol, <laughs> may effect ba? May effect ba sa boses pag ikaw ay, you, you know, you constantly may drink alcohol? May drying effect yung alcohol sa so voice. Mm. So, 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 Kaya ba yung post? iba pag sinasabi ni, may mga ibang singers, <laughs> kung sila, kahit in the US or kahit saan man, mahilig maglaseng, di ba? Nag-iiba yung quality ng voice. Dahil doon, ano? Yeah. Uh, Ay, bakit si Whitney Houston, drug addict siya, di ba? Maganda pa rin ang boses. Ngayon, no, nag-iba din ang boses. Nag-iba din ang boses ni, ano, ni Whitney, ng mga recent ng appearances niya. Actually, uh-huh. nag-iba dahil uh, abuse din siya sa katawan. Nagsasmoke siya, eh. Oo. Oh. Tapos mm. nag the drugs. <laughs> mm. And, uh, <laughs> yun, yun. and, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> Ayan na naman. Big glottal na naman. Big glottal na naman. Tsaka aging na rin. Kasi matanda na rin. Oh, totoo yun na, di ba? I mean, as you grow older, yung voice mo talaga bumababa. Yeah, sa sa female, bumababa ang fundamental frequency. But sa male, tumataas. Aha! Pwede ka na kumanta na I will always love you. Mahal ang age ba? Pero kaya pala. So, you are 50 years old below for female, bumababa yung fundamental frequency. Pero pag male, tumataas. tumataas. Pag matanda ka na, ganun. That is also something to do with the level of the hormones, di ba? Yes, yeah. yes. Kasi yes. may nupos ka na, wala ka na masyari. Kaya yung mga nagko-concert dito na foreign artist na pumupunta sa Pilipinas, na iba na yung boses oh, nila. Oh, oh, na, oh, saka, oh, yung nasa oh. TV kasi na advertisement, yung bata pa sila eh. Oh. My gosh, ito <laughs> ko ng ano, oh. concert ni Rian Warwick oh. last time. <laughs> My gosh, idol ko yun. Oh. Oh. I know! Oh. Oh. Si Rimen Bess. Tapos nanood ako, naku na... I, I was so, ano... Disappointed. I, I don't know, I was so afraid for her. Kasi ju- first pa lang part ng ng ano niya, ng kanta niya, para hindi niya na maabot. <laughs> Pero she could see the whole page. Yeah, because she's already, ano. Oh, so iba, nakabanat na. pa, di ba? May effect yan sa pag-deliver nila, pag super. Oh, so hindi na mga move yung muscles mo dito, di ba? Hindi naman. Pwede naman yun. Kasi sa aging nga, daming, ano, daming problem. So, actually, natapos niya yung concert. I was so glad. Okay, na glad. Yeah, kasi lumuwag na yung vocal cords niya after, gumaling na eh, after uh, several songs. But okay. I was really afraid. Ah, talaga. I mean... I-plug mo na nga, i-plug mo na nga. Ay, sa mga, ano, sa mga lolo, kaya uh, ng, ng audience. Ah, sa ano, sa St. Luke's. 
Edition, ang natapos sa ating Clinica on Air, Thursday edition. Ako si Ryan George. Happy weekend to everyone. I am not gloto. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye everyone and good night. Be safe. Inyong nakakinggan ang kumay at napapalangan ng kaalaman sa tamang panangalaga ng ating galusugan. Inyong pakinggan sila Dr. Cecil Katapang at Ryan George sa susunod na webes alas 6 ng alas 7 ng gabi. So isa na namang mga buluhang usapin sa wastong kalusugan dito sa Klinika On Air. Hey, Tribedia Pro Incorporated. This is HRIT. From this ship is your body. That drum is your heartbeat, and you're gone.